After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. get really busy and when there's a lot going on I have to be aware of who I'm patting down, who's behind me, and what I need to do. And my partners and I, we become like a precision team where we know exactly what's going on and what we need to do without even having to talk to each other. Straight out here. Over here, ma'am. Is that your robe or are you in karate? Come here. Face the wall. Oh, okay. You know, things sharp on you, knives, needles, razor blades, safety pins. Just my brain. <laughs> okay. I guess we can get her some clothes, huh? Well. Up on the wall. Put your yeah. hand up on the okay. wall. Sorry. It's all right. Bad. It's okay. Just listen to direction, okay? So I wasn't out there when you got arrested. What did you get arrested for? At the cops. They brought me here. Oh, Sabina. I can't. I'm asking you. Here, put this shirt on. Somebody tried to kill me. Did you try to defend yourself? What? Yes, of course. Okay. How did you do that? Here, better, put your shirt on. No, put your put shirt on. Put the shirt on, ma'am. Oh. You brought Josefina in? I did. What happened with her tonight? Well, I encountered her at Lake Mead and Jones. Um, she was in a cab, and she was in the front seat of the cab, and she was actively uh, hitting the cab driver with her fists. Oh, my. She resisted me taking her into custody as well, mm -hmm. so here we are. Her side of the story is when she got in the cab, he got on the radio and said, I've got her. And uh, she took that as a threat, evidently. Oh. And I explained to her at the scene. I said, well, do you think that maybe he was letting dispatch know that he successfully picked his fare up? Right. And she didn't believe that. She thought he was going to kill her like that. So. so what did you end up officially charging her uh, with? Then? The charge is battery, but there's a, a taxi driver enhancement, oh, okay. which moves it from a misdemeanor to a gross misdemeanor. OK. OK, thank you. All right. Oh, my goodness. OK, here, step over here. Uh, a domestic violence. I dumped a jar of tomato sauce over his head. Did you? Is that what's on your back? And it was cold, and they claimed it was hot. You think a man could handle it? It should have been sexy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> could have been a hot moment, huh? Doesn't tomato sauce stain? Yes, tomato sauce does stain. But you know, tomato I asked sauce, him tomato what sauce. Kind of noodles yeah. he wanted, and he didn't answer fast enough. I was that? Tomato sauce is really good if you get sprayed by a skunk, though, right? You take a tomato sauce bath. Is you that true? Asked, you asked him what kind of noodles he wanted, and he didn't answer fast <laughs> yeah. enough, so you dumped it over his head. Oh, that, that really wasn't it. Oh, but okay. It'll make a nice scenario. How's mm -hmm. that? <laughs> okay. I got a year to do Thanks. now. Okay. A I don't year. know. All right, walk down to the medical the medical desk. What happened with Sandra tonight? Uh, basically, she's being arrested for domestic violence. Okay. This is her third offense, so that makes it a felony. So basically, she got in a fight with her boyfriend and scratched him and uh, threw some spaghetti sauce on him, I guess. So, so that really happened, the spaghetti sauce? Yep. Over his head? Yep, over his head. Was it on there when you showed up? Yeah, it was all over the floor in the kitchen. You can see that the stove was still on, so it was hot. She's been drinking. I'm not sure if he has or not, okay. but, uh, but the main thing is that they've been together for a while and got in a fight, so. He hit me first, and I'm the one in jail. Are you dating him, or does he live with you? I lost my husband three years ago, mm -hmm. and we kind of hooked up. Yeah. We don't get along so well. Oh. Sandra, did you have anything to drink tonight? Yes. What'd you have? Yes, ma'am. What'd you have? Beer. Okay, how many? I don't know. I lost count. Too much on beer. On her? Okay. On. Sandra, much. walk with me while we're talking. Yeah. Okay. Too much beer going on. I called the cops. Can you believe this? That's why we go to court and you get to tell your side of the story in court to the judge. Where do I go? This way. Oh, She's going to be okay. Right. Have a seat, Sandra. Just try okay. to relax. I'm Spaghetti not going to do a year over a jar of tomato sauce. Right. I'm pleading not guilty. Not guilty? Okay. It was a crime. That's for you to tell the judge when yes. you go to court. You're going to have your day in court. 
Yes, I hope so. Yes. <laughs> Too bad you can't enjoy it. Why would I want to enjoy it? <laughs> disgusting. Like, seriously? Nasty. You are disgusting. You got that right. <laughs> you got that right, darling. You're disgusting. You're a disgusting human being. You gotta be nice and calm, Josephine. She's stuck in no, she started it. Let me help you out. You go and sit in that red chair over there a little bit further Thank away from you. her. That's what I tried to do. Okay. Yeah, right here. I'm going to have you move over because I want to avoid a conflict. Thanks. This woman's been cleared by our psychologist. We'd be able to put her away in the side. So she she's had some alcohol involved, but she's obviously not fully uh, aware of what's going on. So we're going to put her away from her own safety and safety of our staff. Hey, what happened earlier with the cab driver? What was that about? I don't know if he says I got her. Who was he saying that to? To somebody I don't know. The I cab? tried to get out. OK. He just locked the doors. Oh. I feel like running. She's a world traveler. You can send us a postcard, Josefina. Let's get to know your roommates. <coughs> Pardon us. Excuse us, ladies. New girl. New girl here. Watch out for her. Put your knees up. Put your knees on this bench. Knees. Put your knees up on the. My what? Knees. knees. Put your knees up there. OK. So are we going to lay down on the ground, or are we going to kneel up on the bench? We're going to lay down on the ground. OK, hey, Josefina. I'm going to stay Sorry. in front of the no. police. No. Lay down. Lay down on the ground. Lay down. down. Ow! Bring your Ow. knees up. Nobody's hurting you. Bring your knees up. Lay down. Nobody's hurting you. Hurry. Oh, get God. down on the ground. Good. Josefina. I love you. We love you, love too. You. Lay down. Lay I down. Lay down. You. Oh, no. There you go. There you go. You're almost there. Come on. OK, we'll just turn around. I love you. Watch your head. I love you. Stop. Yes, stop. 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 I do. Uh, I do love you. I love you. You're the best job with me, my god. You stay uh, just like that until we walk out of the door, OK? I love you. Holy drama queen. I don't know that we're going to get a postcard now, though. <laughs> no, I think you're really going to get a postcard now. I've been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for about nine years now. And I've seen a lot of people come here from out of town. They see the commercials, they hear the stories. And it's always the same story. I thought you could do anything in Vegas. And no, that's not how it works out. So when they come in here, they're kind of surprised that they got arrested for things. But well, not everything you do here stays in Las Vegas. Face the wall. Sp spread your feet and face the wall. Don't be moving around a lot. Uh, you? Uh, trying to go to sleep. What's your first name? Lewis. Lewis? Lewis. Can't get your piss? Yeah, as soon as I get done searching you. What happened to your face? Yeah, you ass. Yeah, beat me up. Face the wall. Face the wall. You cap. The cops beat me up. Come on, come on. Walk back this way. This way. You Have a seat. Okay. Relax. Have a seat. What's your last name, sir? What's this guy in for? The one you brought in. Well, we got hailed down by a couple citizens out there saying some guy was walking out in traffic up on the boulevard at the Strip, and they felt like he was intentionally trying to hurt himself. So we came across him. It could tell he's very intoxicated. Public intoxication? Yep. Just uh, public nuisance, doing crazy things when he's drunk. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, bro. Can you get your cuffs? Ready here. Not yet. You just got in there, you need to cool down a little bit, right? Go on in there. Go on in there. No, let's take him off a little bit. Can I yeah. take a piss? We will, in a little bit. I can't take a piss? Not yet. We'll be back. Piss! Come on, dude. Relax. Yeah. Get the restraint chair for him. Relax. That wasn't necessary. Can I take a piss? Not this time, sir. What did, did you we tell you? As soon as you pull down, obviously uh, you're not pulling down. Well, right. He's active this chair right now. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. All right, once that's on, let's give him a chair. Ready? Come on, sir. Stand up. I got you. 
scoot back a little bit. Put your hands down. I can't Put your take hands down. Put your hands down. Put your hands down behind your butt. I can't take a piss. We were talking about that a minute ago, Lester. But you decided to come at me. Put your head back. Damn. Oh, man. Woo! We're going to put Lester over by the uh, pat down area until he cools down a little bit more. Since he walked in the door, he's had a bad attitude. He's going to be sitting in there for a little bit until he's you know. I'll check on him periodically until Lester calms down and we're able to get him out of the chair. So it's totally up to him. Time to get Lester out of the chair. See if uh, he's still a little upset, but we're gonna try to put him aside. So, all right. Get back, sir. Hold on, they'll help you up. All right. All right. Stand up, man. Put your feet on the ground. Stand up, horse. Go up on the bench right here, sir. <clears throat> Same thing up. as before. Put your knees up there. Cross your ankles. Listen, we're gonna take the cuffs off. Oh. Okay, sir. <laughs> comply with our instructions. Lester. Yes. Sir. Earlier, when we told you to stay on the bench, yes, sir. okay, we were in the same situation. Yes, okay, sir. you decided to stand up. Yes, sir. And come towards the door at me. No, no, sir. Lester, you did. You're still a little upset. We're gonna leave you in here. No banging. Don't yes, try to sir. hurt yourself or anything can like I, that, all right? Can I, can can I, I finish first? Can I finish first? They're yes, controlling sir. you because of your own actions, all right? Yes, sir. We're going to walk out of here, same thing. You're going to stay on that bench until the door closes, OK? Yes, sir. Any other sign will be a sign of aggression, all right? Yes. We'll have to do what we have to do, OK? Yes, sir. Stay there, follow the officer's instructions, OK? OK, sir. Stay in that position until we leave the room, you hear me? Yes, sir. Good job, guys. We'll see if he cools down. If not, we'll just come back and deal with him again. But hopefully he does. Hopefully he learned the lessons. A lot of people think that Vegas is the adult playground where they can come and pretty much get away with anything. And people don't realize is that this is a normal community. A lot of young, young girls come here. They get involved in prostitution. They think it's easy money. For a lot of them, it is easy money. They start getting arrested. And you know they end up in jail. So it's like jail anywhere else. It just happens to be in Las Vegas. Separate your feet. Got a little bit of ink, huh? How old are you? 23. You started young, huh? Yeah. What about jewelry? Yeah. Here, so they're about to come out, though, as you can see, they're getting infected. All right, you're going to go see medical now, OK? Right over here, you're going to walk down that aisle all the way down to the end, OK? All the way down. It appears that she solicited six undercover detectives. So charging her with six counts. $2,400? Wow. For what? <laughs> that's her asking price. Six guys, one girl. That's pretty busy. That is pretty busy. Well, she wouldn't need to work the rest of the month. Or at least the rest of the night. Oh. Stevie's got some piercings that are embedded into her flesh. They appear to be a little bit infected. So. If you're here for a while, don't sit you with some antibiotics for your cold and for your plugs, all right? All right. You know, I'll see it again. Thanks. She's got warrants in the city jail, and she's got six counts, $1,200 each count. It's all misdemeanor stuff, but it's going to be expensive. I'm not doing nothing. I got to go. I'm not doing I'm not even doing anything. He slammed my arm in the door, dude. All right, calm, calm down, down now. What is y'all doing? Stand still. Why are you pulling on my hair? 
Why are you yelling? Because I'm not even doing nothing. Quit yelling. You're yelling. I can hear you. So they over here manhandling me. Stop, Stop it. You're flipping your Stop hair in our eyes. I'm not Stop trying that. to it's do that. Nice. Why would I put I'm my pony nice. hair in your face? I don't want your pony hair in my face. Y'all some mark. Keep that to yourself. What's she getting arrested for? Okay. She left her kids in the car while she was on the ambulance out of the casino. Oh. Yeah, it's like Dottie's little kid. Wow, how old are the kids? Two and four. I need it before I get loose from her. No, what Guess what she did? What? She left her four-year-old and her two-year-old in the car while she was in a casino gambling. Awesome. They were in there for a little over an hour. Damn. With our 100 degree heat. Why are you screaming for the police to come help them? Did you help them? Did you help them? They're your kids. Did you? Why are you mad at us? You're the one that abandoned and them. And they mine. And they mine. So you can leave them in a car and like a freaking animal. And, and they mine. Now what? Not anymore. Now they state owns them. We're done here. Watch your feet, please. Yes, ma'am. And please don't step on my toe. I got a key. Spread your feet. Break it. Now, does your hair come out? Did you buy it? Please don't do that, officer. Hold your head still. Put your knees up on the bench. Get up on your knees. Is that a supervisor here? You're about to break my ribs. Well, we'll let you go if you just hold still until that door I'm not even resisting. Y'all so pulling you understand? on me. So that, yes, you understand. I don't understand. You still don't understand. understand anything. Come around the floor. Lay down on the ground. Get all the way down. All the way down. Flat Lay down. Your pull your feet out. Do you see how they pull my hair out, supervisor? All right, you're going to stay just like this until Not we moving, leave. Ma'am. Oh. oh, she was stubborn. I want all that in my belongings. Okay. Don't worry. All that in my Okay. So we have to take the clips out of their hair and the extra hair pieces that are in there. Some of them pass it off to other inmates and they can change their appearance. And whatever we find up in their hair clips, that's contraband. That can hurt somebody. Right over here, okay? Right over there. Okay, have a seat. Lean forward, flip your hair forward. Run your fingers through your hair as if you're shampooing. Now, does your hair come out? Okay, grab the clips. That's all of it? You going bald? No, I'm a girl, though. That's the style. You're kind of fake, aren't you? I'm not fake personality-wise. I'm fake right. a lot of my body, yeah. Come on over here. Let's get your tattoos. Nothing else? No. What does that say? The latest night in two temptation. Got them everywhere. You don't have anything gang on you, do you? I'm a blood. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> totally <laughs> kidding, you guys. Yeah, I know. We didn't see any on there. Come on over here. Sit on the girl side, which is the right hand side. Don't do anything without raising your hand. Listen for your name to be called. You understand? Yeah. Can I use the phone right now? Um, you may. Just listen for your name, okay? Because people might start calling you right away. So listen for your name as you're on the phone, okay? okay. All right, you're welcome. She's never been here before for prostitution, but you know she was a willing participant in the game and got to say no. Unfortunately, she said yes, and now she's here. It's been a few hours since Bakita came into custody, so I'm going to walk back here and talk to her just to see if she's calmed down a little bit. And it looks like she's still sitting up just like she was last time. Vikita, do you know why you're here? Do you know what he's charging you with? No, I don't care. You don't care? How many kids do you have? Zero. You have zero kids? I couldn't remember if you said you had two or three. That's why I was asking you. Y'all don't care? I don't care about nothing, so it don't matter. Well, you have to understand our point of view when you come in Upset like that, you we have to get. You've got to calm down. I wasn't here swinging on y'all or none of that. So how y'all give me? She's still kind of in denial about her situation and how she came in. 
So it looks like she's gonna have to stay back here for just a little bit longer to calm down, have a cool down period. So I just don't think she'll quite make it out there in the open lobby with the other inmates. Okay, Vakita, thank you. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't